Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. Today, we are doing another Town Hall 8 uh, base build. We're doing another farming base. Uh, I switched some things up from the other one, kind of made my splash defense cover this base a little better than the other one. I remember the last one, uh, the splash defense didn't do, didn't do so hot on it, so um, that's why we are doing this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and start just bringing everything in, see how it looks. Uh, it looks like I forgot to m remove uh, one of my tests. No, never mind. All right, so uh, we're going to start off with what we want in our core. So I want to protect my gold. I want to protect my dark elixir. And, of course, we want to have our clan castle in the middle as always. Okay, so we're going to put all those in there. And then let's go ahead and bring in our wizards. As you guys know, my favorite defense right there is the wizard. So we're going to be sure to have those triangulated. In my last base, they weren't triangulated as well as they are here. It was kind of more narrow as this one's a little more wide and the coverage is a lot better. You can see that they uh, <clears throat> they have a good coverage of the whole center area of the base, so that's going to make protecting our resources a lot better. So let's go ahead and bring in our next uh, portion of splash defense, which, which would be our mortars. We'll put those right there, bring these over as well. And so now we have good coverage of the mortars. You can see that they cover practically the entire base. We're only missing that very top corner up there by that Archer Tower that's just chilling outside the walls right here. So besides that, we are looking good on the coverage of the mortars. So let's continue. We're just going to keep bringing things in. Let's go ahead and bring in our air defenses. We're going to put one air defense right here. We're going to put one air defense right here. And we're going to put one air defense right here up at the top of the base. Is that... Did I build that out too far? No, I don't think I did. Never mind. <laughs> so those air defenses are going in there. You can see that they cover the... They cover the base as well. This one's upgrading right now currently, which is awesome because it's going to give us a little bit more damage, which is something that we definitely need. So let's continue on. We're going to bring in the rest of our cannons. We're going to bring one cannon over here on the left. Let's bring in another cannon right here. And we're going to bring in another cannon over here. Another cannon right here. And then our last cannon is going to go over here by this other one. So... Generally, I would say Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, so on and so forth. Uh, why don't we do, let's see, why don't we try something? Well, first let's bring in the rest of our archers. So we're going to bring in the rest of our archers. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right here. We're going to put one right here. And we are going to put one right down here at the point to help cover that. So what we can do to switch these up is... Uh, maybe do something up at the top so that we have our we'll put this cannon out here instead of our archer tower We'll put this archer tower in here. This is what we'll do bring this cannon out put this archer tower right here and Put that right there and now we have archer cannon archer cannon archer cannon archer cannon archer cannon all the way around perfect so That is exactly what we want to have next. We're gonna bring our king in We're just gonna put him up here at the top to stress some people out as they try and come in up there but now we're going to bring in our resources, which is obviously what this base is all about, protecting our resources. So we're going to put those two right there by that wizard tower. We're going to put our other gold storage right here by this wizard tower and our other elixir storage right here by this wizard tower. And then we're going to bring in this elixir storage. Um, I'm not too worried about elixir right now. We're just going to put that one right there. So uh, I would rather lose elixir than gold. So that's why that is a little bit further out towards the edge of the base. Now let's go ahead and bring in our Teslas. So we're going to put one of our Teslas right, oops, messed up. We're going to put one of our Teslas right down here at the bottom. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring in our other two and put those right up here. And those should help cover that side of the base. Next, we're going to bring in these two uh, gold mines right here. And the reason that I have these right here is so that somebody can't drop their wall breakers in and break into both of these sections. If those weren't there, someone could just drop their wall breaker straight into that uh, T-joint and get rid of it. So the reason that that is like that on both sides is so that people can't break into both of those sections. So somebody drops wall breakers up here, they're not gonna get into both of those, they're just gonna get into the gold mine. Uh, so that's the whole point of that. Next, we're just gonna bring in our last little elixir drill right here. And we're going to save the village right there, save, all right. And you can see, uh, I think that it looks pretty good. I think it's gonna work well. Um, obviously I'm going to have to show you guys replays and other Let's Clash episodes and stuff like that, but our defense in this 
our splash defense, which which in my opinion is the most important, is spread out well enough, as well as our point defense. So we're looking good there. I think this base is going to work well. Um, I'm excited to start upgrading walls and upgrading all that kind of stuff and really max out this Town Hall 8. So we're definitely going to be farming on here, probably boost up some barracks and just do some barch and see how much gold and elixir we can get and just crush upgrading everything. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, let me know if y'all use this base and let me know how it works for you. Obviously, if you have lower level defenses, the base design isn't going to help out uh, too much until your defenses are maxed. Most of mine are maxed, so uh, if I'm winning defenses and you're not, it's probably because my defenses are maxed. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Try it out if you want to. Uh, I think it's going to work well. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.